I think looking back at the CONCACAF Cup final at the, at the Rose Bowl, um, obviously disappointed but that we didn't win the game. But uh, overall, I think it was, it was hugely exciting. You know, I mean, 93,000 fans, a crowd with American support that we never ever had before against Mexico. I think more than 30,000 of our fans were in the stadium, made, made a, a tremendous atmosphere, tremendous support for the team. Enormously exciting. I talked to a lot of people afterwards that said they never experienced something like that before. So it was definitely a, a huge game to remember for all of us. I think, you know, as a team, uh, everyone is growing far more when things go the wrong direction than when things go well. When you have a couple of tough results, you have a couple of defeats that are bitter to, to swallow, um, that's when a team is really becoming a team. That's when uh, players start to stick together. That's when players and coaches start to solve problems and uh, have discussions internally how to move things in the positive direction again. So, so going through tough times is teaching you far more than going through good times and that's what we're going to do right now. Well, when you look at the entire development of a team and you look at uh, a whole year, you know, there are, you know, games that you played, you know, if it was in Switzerland or in Germany or Holland, you know, um, a lot of games that you were unbeaten and blah, blah, blah. You know, you look at very positive things. Then you obviously look at the Gold Cup, you know, where we didn't win the Gold Cup and now we didn't win the CONCACAF Cup, you know, which is usually disappointing, but it's part of that development and that process going towards 2018. So um, when you look back, a lot of positives, definitely younger players are coming through. We're talking about the process of DeAndre Yetlin becoming more mature. Ajazi Zardes who became a real fixture in the senior team, which is really fun to watch. A Bobby Wood that we kind of step by step build that maybe a year ago a lot of people questioned, you know, why you know, we bring this kid in and we give him minutes? It's because they all need to grow. They all need help, you know. When you look at the whole year 2015, yes, there were disappointments and uh, uh, we take responsibility for that. But there were also a lot, a lot of good signs that makes us really feel good about the future. You know, we're going to go through tough times as well. You know, we had 2012 equalizing the record um, in history of US soccer. 2013, we set a new record for the history of US soccer. 2014, we surprised the world coming out of the group of death, you know, leaving Portugal and Ghana behind us. And now we're going to go some, some tough times, you know, but our slogan is one nation, one team, and we do that together. So we take those results, we take the critics, uh, and me especially as a coach, you know, you get, uh, you get it all over the place right now, but uh, you stand up in front of your team and tell them, listen, you know, there's not only sunshine and we're going to go through it, uh, refocus and we can't wait to be in San Louis in front of our crowd and uh, get the th first three points in World Cup qualifying.